All that effort to, to build a, a, a larger database and a bigger foundation is all gonna come to you. It's all gonna snowball and come to you when it rains and pours situation when the market turns around. So my message today is, You know, first and foremost, you guys need to be squeezing the market for every little drop right now. I mean, and I know it's tough if you have a buyer, you're competing with eight other buyers on a 50,000 more than full price situation. But hey, you know, nothing's easy, right? Nobody said this was going to be easy. Go after sellers. You want to be on the you want to be on the end of that stick that we're looking at all eight offers and we're saying, hey, Mr. Client, which one of these you want to take? We don't want to be one of the eight offers. We want to be the one receiving the eight offers. That's where you want to be in today's market. So we really want to squeeze, man. We want to squeeze. I'm talking squeeze as hard as you can right now. The more you put in right now with no results, just building creating those relationships, maintaining those relationships and building your database. I'm telling you, when this thing flips, it's going to flip. It's going to flip and it's going to go the other way and uh, it's going to open up. Like if the market shifts, think about how easy it's going to be to sell properties when you don't have to compete against buyers. Prices come down just a little bit. Think about how easy of a market that's going to be. Demand's down a little. Prices come down a little. Inventory opens up a little. If you, if you can sell and succeed in this market right here, think about how easy it's going to be when the market shifts a little bit the other way. It's going to be like, you know, you've died and went to heaven kind of deal. But the amount of success that you have when the market shifts is all going to depend on the amount of work you're putting in now, even though you might not be seeing the exact results you want based on how many contacts you're making, how many relationships you're putting in place and how much effort you're putting in. But I promise you that effort's not going to go unnoticed by the universe. All that effort to, to build a, a, a larger database and a bigger foundation is all going to come to you. It's all going to snowball and come to you when it rains at poor situation when the market turns around. So my message today is pour every little ounce of energy you have into the market right now, regardless if you're seeing the results in terms of closings and transactions, you know, but if you're if you're creating and maintaining more relationships and you see the numbers in your database going up, you know, week after week, that's where you need to find your satisfaction with with your with what you're doing because i'm telling you when it rains it pours and it's all going to come to you at one time and you're going to be like my goodness i'm glad i put everything i had into the business when it was a little tougher also i want to touch on you guys i I don't really talk about social media a lot. I'm more of a phone call kind of guy. You know, I've talked about it in the new 90 day action plan, just making a video, just making a video, a bio on yourself, something really neat, something really cool and run it as an ad to your entire market for like six months. You don't even have to spend a lot of money and everybody's going to know who you are. I got a couple of uh, good listings coming up at the end of this month, probably close to a million dollars worth. And how do I maximize the pre-marketing so I can try to double in? Well, I mean, if you're going to double in them, that means what? One of your clients buys it, right? Correct. So you're going to reach out to your clients, right? People in your database that might be a good fit for that property or just people that are not attached to a realtor yet. Yeah, true, true. But how can you can't really advertise it without having it listed, you know? Right. So that, there's that's what they do there. I mean, you, you know, like like I tried that one time, right? Kind of like putting it out there that had something coming up and my board you know, really tore into me, you know, about, you know, advertising something that I don't have yet, you know, it was kind of against the rules kind of deal. So there's a fine line there with trying to reach out to people that aren't in your database about a listing you don't have, right? Maybe do an open house before I actually sign the listing contract? I guess. I don't know, man. Uh, to me, I don't really try to put a lot into how do I double in these deals, right? I want to get it listed, get it on MLS and go get five more. You know, uh, if I want to try to reach out to a couple of my clients to see if maybe there's a good fit there, you know, and try to give it a shot right. and see if I can come up with a client. Great. But I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time trying to figure out how to double end it when I could just spend, you know, even less energy than that and go pick up another listing. And then, I mean, all double ended means is you did two deals. And so if I just go get another listing in the same time that I was trying to double end a deal, it's really the same thing, right? It's two deals. On top of that, you know, when you start double ending, not all the time, but a lot of the time they're going to try to negotiate your commission, you know, when you double in because they know you're getting all of it now instead of two agents splitting it. So you can end up making more money 
with two listings that you're getting the full commission on rather than double ending that listing. You know what I mean? Throw it out to the clients you got, you know, try to pinpoint five or 10 of them that might be interested, call them up. It gives you an excuse to reconnect with those clients. You know, the way the way I see a real estate agent's career is they come in, they, they get leads, they make calls, they do what they have to do to try to build their business. And they're looking for deals right now because they got to get their first deal and they really got to, you know, make this happen so they can, you know, go full time or whatever it is. And so it's hard in the beginning to grab that momentum. But you know what momentum is for real estate? It's literally when you start to see people that you called or contacted three and four months ago coming back to you and saying, okay, now I'm ready. That's when you start to see momentum because you're you're in this looking for now business mode, you know, and you can't find it, you can't find it, you can't find it, and then boom, you find something. But then all those people you talked to while you were looking for it, a couple months later, then they start calling you back and you're still looking for now business. You're building your database. So then you kind of got two things. You got the now business you're finding and you got the the people that you talked to and planted seed with four months four months ago coming back to you. You know, so you got you got a little bit of double double lead generation happening, you know, from your efforts, the seeds right. planted. And the more seeds you plant four months ago, the more people are going to call you back in four months saying, I'm ready to go now. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. starting to see that with the newsletter. Right. And then the next level is you do that for several years. You keep building that database. You got people that are calling you back from two years ago. Right. And then through that process, now we're looking for now business. we got people that are coming back from two years ago that we contacted. Then we got repeat people coming back that actually closed the deal that's ready to sell that one and buy another one mm -hmm. or ready to upgrade or ready to add to their portfolio. And they're starting to refer people to us right that's the progression of the snowball that happens in real estate you got to ride that momentum that's why it's so hard in the beginning for agents to get going and get that momentum going because it takes time for people to talk to you and then think about it and then decide they're ready to roll it could take months or even years you know but through that process now business now business now business and then boom and then you got people from the past calling then after a while repeat people are coming then they're sending you referrals then the referrals are sending you referrals yeah <laughs> it just starts compounding and then that that's where that's where the momentum is. You just got to keep pushing and pushing and pushing to build that database up to the point where you have all these people who are getting the weekly email, never forgetting who you are, that start coming back to you. Hey, Ricky. Um, so I know that you went over a spreadsheet because um, you don't use a CRM. And I was just wanting to see if you can go into more detail about that because I was just, or if there's a place or um, I don't know if you have a video on that, just how you follow up with your leads. So basically, you know, I just do a Google sheet and then on the Google sheet is everyone that might do something with me in the next 90 days, right? Okay. Or up to six months, you know, but 90 days is really what I'm looking for. People that are saying that they might do something in the next 90 days. Okay. So that's really, that's really my core of the people that I'm looking for. 90 days is right now. I mean, that's happening. Everyone else that tells me, oh, I'm never going to sell or buy. I'm just, you know, or I'm just not interested at all. We just bought our house. We're here to stay kind of thing. You know, they're just going in the weekly email and I'm just kind of letting the email nerd and they'll call me back in five years and say, oh, you know, I'm ready. But the people that are looking for something to do right now, looking to buy or sell, you know, I want to, I want to develop that list and I want to always kind of keep track of the people who are looking to do something soon. So on the Google sheet, it's going to be like their name, their phone number, more information if I, you know, email, whatever I want to do here. And then the next column is going to be what their story is, what they're looking to do, what they're looking to do, when they're looking to do it, why they're looking to do it. I want to hear the whole backstory. So just all one little spreadsheet. Yeah, exactly. And it's just per column name, phone number, email, what they're looking to do, address, whatever. And then and then each time I contact them, I go to the next column and put the date. And then what 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 you know I call and I left a voicemail or I emailed them or whatever the case may be. And so every day you can save that Google sheet to your favorites and every day you can pull it up just like you pull up your email. <laughs> kind of comb through and see who you need to follow up with next.